Today we have more of the best of 2021. Welcome in, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Today we're talking about all the tools and devices that I use in my anti-aging skincare routine. You know, for me, this is almost one of the most fun videos of the whole Best of 2021 series. I'll be sharing my favorite devices of 2021, and you know some of them I've been using for much longer. If you're new here, I'm so glad you stopped by for this one. Welcome in. I hope you'll consider subscribing while you're here and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. If you've been following me for a while, you know I have lots and lots of videos over on the channel talking about the anti-aging devices that I use. In those videos, I go into a lot of details of the science behind each device and what they do, why they're good for your anti-aging program, and how I use them. Today I'm not going to be diving into the details. I'm just going to be sharing why I love each device so much, how I use them, a little bit of the tips and tricks that I've learned along the way, and just have some fun talking about the tools that I use in my anti-aging skincare routine. We're going to hop right into the tools and devices, and as always, all products that I mentioned today will be listed and linked below, so super easy for you to find. And with that, let's hop into it. I've decided that how I'm going to structure this video is chronologically. In other words, what was the first device I started using, and then what came after that? But I'm going to finish with my number one absolute favorite. If you're not going to get any other device, this is the one you need to get Pick for 2021. The first device I want to talk about is my awesome little Nera. I'll tell you what, this guy is a little trooper. I've been using him, and it's a him. <laughs> I don't know why I know that. I've been using him about two years now, and by gosh, still acts like brand new. The Nera is an FDA cleared at home laser device. And the reason that I got interested in this one, and this was my gateway device, <laughs> this is what started it all, is when I first saw it, I connected it to a girlfriend I knew in my early 50s. She had a med spa. She'd been an emergency room nurse for like 25 years, was just tired and wanted to do something that wasn't so physical. So she opened up a med spa. You know, those places where you go and you get Botox and lasers and all that sort of thing. She was a girlfriend of mine and she used lasers in her practice and said that she really got good results with her patients. So when I saw this, I thought, hmm, I wonder how that's going to be compared to what you can get in a med spa, whether it's going to work at all. So I ended up getting it, using it, and oh my gosh, I've absolutely fell in love with it. What it has really done for me is made a dramatic impact on my nasal labial folds and my marionette lines. The reason I like it so much for those is because it has a very, very focused action at the tip here. When you activate it and click the little button, it shoots a laser of light into your skin, and it's a very pinpoint action. What I did, and I have these really deep marionette lines, I'll go ahead and put a picture up, you can see what they used to look like. I would just target that laser right in the middle of those lines, and oh my gosh, it really has served me well over the last two years. Think about it, I'm two years older than I was when I started this, so my marionette lines and my nasal labial folds should look worse because I'm two years older. They look so much better. This really has done a great job on that area of my face. Of course, I use it around my eyes as well, but where I really, really have appreciated it is in my nasal labial folds and my marionette lines. What I love about this unit so much is, first of all, it's super easy to use, like super easy to use. It takes me less than, I don't even think it takes me two minutes to do a whole treatment all over my whole face. When I first got this, I used it a few times a week. Now I use it maybe once a week. So this probably gets used three or four times during the month. I still use it. I still love it. It still does a great job on the deep creases in my face. I'm a real fan of this one. The next skincare device that I picked up was the New Face. I'm sure you're familiar with the New Face. This is a very, very popular skincare device. This is a microcurrent device and it does a number of things that really benefit your skin. First of all, the action of the microcurrent really brightens the complexion and gives your skin a lot firmer, tighter look just from the action over the skin. However, where microcurrent really shines is what it does to the underlying muscles of the face. It kind of gives your face like a little workout. 
In other words, it sends a pulse into the muscle that creates a contraction in the muscle and it sort of lifts and tightens the look of your face. Now it's really, really subtle. It's not like you're gonna use this and 20 minutes later, it's gonna look like you had a facelift. That's not how it works. It's much more subtle than that. What I have found with a microcurrent device is when you first get one, use it a lot, like maybe three or four days during the week and do that for a couple of weeks. That will really get those muscles in shape and start holding that firmer, tighter look on your face and then you can back off. This microcurrent device is not the one I use the most. <laughs> However, it is the easiest one to use. So when I want a little touch up or a little firming or a little something something on my face, I'll pull this out for five or 10 minutes and give myself a little pick me up. The microcurrent device that I use the most is the Myolift and I got this probably about a year ago. I had heard about the Myolift after I'd been using the new face and I really wanted to try it. Here's what I found out from trying the Myolift. This is the unit that runs the operation. I use the gloves. The unit plugs into the gloves and you use the gloves over your face. I really like the gloves because I don't have to use a conductivity gel. What you do is you just wet the gloves and then you start moving them over your face. I have a full demonstration over on the channel, so if you're curious about it, go check that out. The reason I like the Myolift more and use it more is because for me, it's more effective. I can do one of these treatments and it lasts me all week long. With the new face, I need to do it about every two to three days to keep the lift in my face. With the Myolift, I find that it will hold for a week or more. One thing I can say about the Myolift is that it's a little bit more complicated to use than the new face. Not that it's difficult, but there is a little bit more that you need to do. There's more selections, you can choose your intensity, you can choose your time, but it does give you so much more information on this unit. When you use it, there's a little bar down here at the bottom that shows you whether your connectivity is strong or not, what your intensity is, and how much time left you have in your treatment. It also has two modes, an erase mode and an educate mode. The erase mode is to loosen up the areas of your face, like your 11s, where the wrinkles are created by a contraction of the muscles. I'll use it on my 11s and on my upper lip first to erase or to loosen up those muscles, and then I'll use the educate up my neck and around my face. I really do love this unit. It's very affordably priced for the quality that you get, and the gloves provide a very detailed use of the microcurrent. Absolutely love the Myolift, but when I want a little quick pick-me-up, I pull out my new face. The next device I use, and the most recent addition to my skincare routine, I absolutely am in love with. It is my Nebulift radio frequency device, and you see I have two. <laughs> this is the original one, and the one I started with this is the latest model from Nebulif. This is the N1. If you have the original model, that's great. I got 99.9% .9 of my results with this one. I've only recently started using this one, and this is the one that I use now. I'll tell you what, when I first saw radio frequency, I didn't know that it was going to do anything different than the other devices that I had, but I thought, you know what, I think I'll try it and just see what it does on my skin. And oh my gosh, I cannot tell you how impressed I was when I very first used a radio frequency device. It wasn't this one, it was another brand, and I get sent a lot of skincare devices. Very few of them make the cut, and those are the ones that I share with you all. When I first used a radio frequency device, I was looking in the mirror afterwards and I couldn't figure out what was going on because it looked like my face had been ironed. Truly, I was stunned and shocked. I couldn't figure out why my face looked like it had been ironed because it certainly hadn't had time to impact the collagen and elastin production underneath my skin. What I later learned is that the actual treatment of a radiofrequency device gives you an immediate tightening and firming look to your skin, which of course I fell in love with. The original device I started with didn't end up panning out for me. I felt like the heat modulation on that unit just wasn't ready for prime time. It wasn't quite there yet. When I tried the Nebulift, I fell in love. This device works so well, and you know what? It feels so very good. It heats up, and what you do is you just run it over your skin very slowly. 
It is like getting a face massage in the morning. When I first started using the Nebulift, I was using it a lot, like almost every morning, which is probably way too much, but it felt so good. I have recently backed off, but I'll tell you what, I miss waking up to doing this because it's like a face massage. It's warm and it's soothing and you have this really hydrating gel on your face and oh my gosh, it's just so very yummy. However, I have found that using it less, I now use it once or twice a week, I think it really has made an improvement in the firmness of my skin. What I found out with radio frequency is that it did do something different than my other devices. And what it does is it really creates very bouncy skin. That's been my result from this. My skin is bouncier, it is firmer, and it just looks fresher and tighter as a result of radio frequency. I really do love this. And even though I was a little bit hesitant in the beginning because I didn't know what it was gonna do for my skin that my other devices weren't doing, by golly, it sure does. Absolutely love my Nebulift. Now we're gonna launch into my absolute favorite, number one, if you only wanna get one anti-aging device, this is it. This is my Mito red light unit. This sucker is so heavy, I'm totally putting it down on the floor now. My red light unit is absolutely, without a doubt, my number one, wouldn't wanna live without anti-aging skincare device. Why? Because, it does so much more than just anti-aging. The benefits of red light for your overall health are well documented. There are hundreds of studies that you could access on the web right now. Red light therapy is truly so very good for us. I have done a lot of videos on the benefits of red light therapy, and if you're interested in finding out more, go ahead and check them out over on the channel. What I can tell you is my red light therapy unit is absolutely my favorite device because it does so much more for me than just make the skin on my face look better. I am a big fan of the panel red light units because you can hit so many different parts of your body with the red light therapy. Red light helps with wound healing and it helps with muscle soreness. It helps with aches and pains. It is so good for your overall health. And you know what? One of the other benefits, and I just had one of you guys make a comment on one of my videos that you get this too, is when I use my red light therapy, I get a mood lift. It really does pick up my mood and just make me feel a greater sense of well-being, which I love. I get up in the morning, put the water on for my coffee, and go sit in front of my red light unit for 10 minutes every day. I find it super easy to do. My unit hangs on the back of my bedroom door and I just pull a chair up, plop myself down on the chair. I have my jammy pants on and then I am bare skinned from the waist on up. My unit is big enough that it goes from the top of my head down to my waist. So I'm getting that ATP or adenosine triphosphate, which is what is generated in your body from the red light therapy into my body in a really, really big way. That ATP is so very important to our bodily functions. It is the spark that starts in all the growth and healing processes in your body. My red light is so much more than just an anti-aging device. It truly is a good health device. And let me tell you a story that happened really recently. As you know, I'm a bit of an adventure girl. Well, I had a kerfluffle on a recent adventure and really, really racked up my hand. I damaged my hand in a serious way. And I'm gonna show you a picture. If you're a little bit queasy, don't look because it's not pretty. I had deep puncture wounds in my hand. It was sore, it was red, it was swollen. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is not good. I had an infection going and my hand was very, very stiff and sore. What I did is I just put my hand in front of that red light unit for 10 minutes and I did that several times. Well, guess what? That was four days ago. Here is my hand today. <laughs> Can you believe the difference? There's no swelling. Now I did put a little bit of makeup on my hand to cover up the scabs that are still there. 
but the infection is gone and it is healing unbelievably well. I know that red light therapy really assisted the healing of my hand. That's why I think that everyone should own a red light unit. They're really so good for your health. If I only could keep one of my anti-aging devices, it would absolutely be my red light unit. Now, if you're looking at a red light unit and you don't know which one to buy, this is the very best suggestion I can give you. Get as much as you can comfortably afford. The important thing to know about red light is that power matters, and a number of frequencies are available in different red light units. As far as I'm concerned, a red light unit is really an investment in your health because it's gonna do so much more for you than just soften wrinkles and make your skin look a little firmer and plumper. Although, if you want your neck to look better, <laughs> I'm telling you what, I think the red light unit has done more for my neck than any other device I have. The way that I use my unit is I sit down in that chair and I don't sit back in the chair. I lean forward and I tuck my nose right up to that unit and I move my head around. I lift up my chin and get it on my neck. I tip my head down and get it on my hairline where I'm working on growing more hair. I really take advantage of that red light frequency over as much as my body as possible. So absolutely my number one anti-aging and overall good health device, my wonderful, much beloved, much used red light unit. That's a wrap up of my favorite anti-aging skincare devices for 2021. I really enjoyed sharing this with you. I hope you found it fun, useful, and helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I get so tickled when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.